is going on people of Pokemon Pit Beta? This is the Rolling Factory with bring you a Pokemon UU battle um against Titanium 2121. Now, um hmm. he's going to lead off with a Don fan. I'm going to lead off with my Empoleon. I kinda looked at his team. Um I kinda brought a team that I had found in my box. I've never used it before, but you know, I I had uh just kinda grabbed it and went with it. Anyway, I'm going to go for the skull, thinking that he would have wanted to go for the Stealth Rocks off the bat, I mean, Stealth Rocks are always usually set up, especially with Donphan. But he ends up going straight off with an Earthquake straight off the bat. Um, I was hoping, I was also fishing for a burn, in case if he did go for an Earthquake, then it wouldn't possibly have taken me out, since I am more of a bulkier set. Um, but no, I don't get the burn, and he ends up going for the Earthquake, which will take me out, unfortunately. So I'm going to send up my Shaman, and he's going to go for the Ice Shard. I go for the Earthquake on the off chance that he might want to switch out. Wanting to try to keep his Donphan in in order to possibly spin off my rocks if I had set them off with another one of my Pokemon, or with or having him wanting to set up his own rocks. But no, he'll end up going into his Togekiss. Now I'm fearing the Air Slash. I'm going to go into my Gastrodon, knowing that I can pretty much tank whatever hit he has. He ends up going for the Nasty Plot, and then as I switch out into my Gastrodon, and he'll end up going for the R Sphere, and I'm looking, and that was a critical hit which I'm pretty sure mattered in the long run, as you'll see later. I mean, if I did live that, I would have gone for the Toxic, and I would have been able to wear him down little by little, but no. Anyway, uh, he, I'm going to send on my stock now. Uh, go for the Stone Edge just for possibly super effective damage if he did stay in, and also I was aware of the Celebi, but I didn't want to um, go for the close combat just in case if he did switch on to Celebi. But anyway, I go into Victini now, predicting the Psychic, which is what he does, go Psychic or Zen Head, but I should say, which is what he does. So, um, I do take that quite nicely. I'm going to go for the Choice Banded U-Turn on Victini, so that way I can either get Switch Initiative or take him out with, um, the U-Turn from that range. But now I'm going to switch on to my Sock. He goes on into his Azelf. I'm kind of fearing the Psychic. I really didn't, or the Zen Head, but since I do see that, uh, Azelfs are more physically offensive and or physically oriented in UU now so uh kind of switching my shaman hoping I could take that zen head but a lot better but I probably should have gone straight into my Victini um I was kind of fearing the U-turn at the same time but I shouldn't have honestly but ended up costing almost costing me my shaman but anyway I go for the U-turn now uh just to get some super effective damage I don't want to go for the flare the be create just yet because I do know that he has an Arcanine lurking around and I don't want him getting um, a flash fired boost. And speaking of Arcanine, it comes out now as I switch out into my Mammoth Swine as he goes for the U turn. Um, I kind I really don't want to take a Flare Blitz to the face, so I'm going to switch back into my Victini as I take the Flare Blitz, but he is, uh, I think he's Adamant Life Orb. I do know he's Life Orb, um, so I don't take that Flare Blitz. Qu Pretty well. I don't know why, but at this point in time, I completely forgot about extreme speed on Arcanine. I mean, they are really common, but I was just kind of in that zone where it's like, okay, I really need to get rid of this Arcanine. But anyway, I didn't. At the same time, I didn't have anything that could really take a um, extreme speed from an Arcanine, so maybe it was one of those like blessings in disguise. Anyway, I'm going to send up my sock, thinking I was scarfed, but um, I end up being choice banded. It's a good thing that I don't get the burn, though. I do get the Stone Edge off that will take out his Arcanine easily. I was hoping I, I went into my sock originally because I thought I was Scarf, like I said. And that way I could have gone for the Stone Edge, taken him out with that. And then I would have been able to go for the Stone Edge again on the UC. And if that missed by the off chance, like Stone Edge is known for, I would have still had my Sturdy to take that Zen Headbutt and then hopefully have taken him out with another Stone Edge. But no, it doesn't matter. I do get taken out by the Zen Headbutt there. Now I'm going to go into my Mammoth's Wine, uh, knowing that uh, at that range the light, a um, Ice Shard will take him out. So I, that's what I do. I end up taking him out there. Uh, now he'll end up sending out his uh, Snorlax. Um, I go for the Icicle Crash um, just to get off as much damage as possible. I completely forgot about this at this point in time about Thick Fat. Um, I really completely forgot. I don't know why I did, but... Yeah, um, I end up going for the Earthquake here as he goes for the Curse, just to get off as much damage as possible, and the off chance that I do end up getting a critical hit, um, I, which is what I actually end up getting there. Quite nice, kind of kind of made up for the crit on the um, the Gastrodon, but in the, it really didn't matter in the long run. 
Anyway, he sent out his Togekiss. Um, I was thinking that an Ice Shard can take him out from that range, considering the fact that Togekiss's defense isn't the best, and this happens to be a Jolly Max attack. Mammoth Swine, I thought it would have done a lot more than it did, but no, that's not the case. So he ends up going for the Fire Blast there. Takes me out, of course, uh, super effective damage, and it happens to be a specially oriented uh, Togekiss. So, takes me out there, and now I'm left with my shame in my last Pokemon. Can't really do much. I mean, Hidden Power Ice takes him down, but obviously it won't be enough to take him out. So he'll go for the Fire Blast on my Shaman. Doesn't miss, unfortunately. And that will end up being the game. So good game, Titanium 2121. And if you did like my battle as well as my narration style, please do be sure to check out my channel. Um, and I hope you guys did enjoy this battle. And uh, comment on how I can better my narrations and all that. So.